Okay. I have got pretty doggone hot flame. I'm not going to move my torch around. You'll hear it change. I got a hole. Now, I don't recommend this, but I want to show you something that you can do. How do you learn? You learn by doing. We can talk about it all day long, but until you get out here and get your hands on this, you're not going to learn how to use this properly. It's heat control. There's a hole. Like I said, I do not recommend doing this in the field. I'm showing you how you can do heat control and work all sorts of stuff or things with this particular sort of abrasion material. That was quite a gapping hole in there, wasn't it? My point is, this can be your friend, this can be your enemy, or it can be your friend too. If I stayed with that heat too long, that would have just fell right off. Okay? You can see how you can actually use this to build up. Here's the caution. You don't want to build it up on the inside. That's the reason the joint needs to fit correctly. Okay? Now, it's not uncommon to pinch one tube over another. You'll see this done on coils where the uh, tubes come into them. A lot of people think, hey, I'm doing wrong. Ricky, did we by chance have a piece of quarter inch over there? Small quarter, quarter inch copper. By the way, how hot is it? Now we don't have a piece already cut. Okay. There's three eight. That, 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 that makes I do it with three eight. Uh, 
we'll have a sample out here in just a minute. I'm going to show you that what it wants you to build. And I want you to use the different torches, the different solars, the different raising materials, because you get out there in the field, I don't know what you're going to have. You probably don't know what you're going to have out there right now. Okay, you can see how it doesn't have, these pieces don't have to be this long. They can be shorter pieces. But you're going to start off with a quarter inch fitting here. And you're going to work your way with the different solders and using the different torches through the various sizes and peach off the end and solder it up or raise it up. Okay? Now, we usually do two tests on these. One is a static test where we're going to hook it up to the nitrogen, test it to leaks with approximately 150 pounds of pressure. Okay? If you want to get serious about it, you will tap this across the floor or the asphalt outside because of the vibration test. Because the system actually has vibrations going through it, even if it may not leak from just pressure alone, once it gets shook around a little bit, you may shake something loose. Then test it again. What do you do if it leaks? More than likely, you are going to be the person out there doing the job. You've got to call somebody in to come help you out. You're in trouble. Okay. Unfortunately, when you get out in the field, you may actually be laying on your back, upside down. Who knows? You know, you all know for a fact that units aren't always put in the most accessible places. Maybe in attics. Maybe on roofs. So you need to be able to operate wherever it's at. Alright. Have we got any questions? Uh -huh. You told us to use the stuff to get for that one. You're not gonna have one. Is that the answer? Yeah, <laughs> yeah not gonna you're gonna get some more copper, but reuse copper should we Okay, I, I prefer these to be about three to six inches long. These may be a little long, for the, for the, four but you need four pieces of each size. Yeah. And uh, notice we don't have any couplings here. They, they're squished together or either uh, <coughs> one stuck inside the other. Okay, so you shouldn't have to have any couplings. The only thing you'll have to have is the flare nut. Okay. All right, I want you all to be safe. Don't like to. I like to hear from former students, but I don't like to hear bad things from former students. Okay, and you can't get hurt doing this. Don't want nobody getting hurt out of it. So work safe. Have fun at it.